what is going on Scorpios welcome back to the channel elevated spirits it's Jazzy your reader for today so um happy moon day y'all happy freaking moon day today my energy is a little um not as like I guess hyped I guess as you could say it um usually is my um uh what's the best way to put it well I don't know how else to put it I can't nothing else coming to mind but my cycle came today so I'm kind of, you know, and plus it's a moon day, so I've been doing shadow work today, and so it's kind of just like a mellow, it's like a really mellow kind of chill day for me today, so I'm being guided to just um, simply read for you guys. I almost didn't even um, get on today to do anybody's readings that I had scheduled today, but um, here I am, okay? So I'm going to get you guys some oracles, or um, start with their regular signs and numbers that we do. And I'm going to just read for you guys, okay? And get some clarification, some advice towards the end. And yeah, what you guys need to hear at this time the most, okay? So as always, um, if you're new to the channel, big welcome to you, okay? Get some signs and numbers that you, might, that you guys might be seeing at this time that maybe have significance to you, that may be coming as a confirmation or um, as um, a way to better help you correlate with the messages that are meant for you in the reading, okay? So take them as they resonate. Please don't make them fit if they don't. Um, also, don't get too hung up on the signs. Um, just because you may, may or may not be dealing with the sign doesn't mean the message isn't for you. Um, we can embody any sign's energy at any given point because we're all energetic beings. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, if you guys would like to book your own personal readings um, tailored to your specific energy and situation, um, find me on social media, did, um, donate to the channel, um, look at, check out my wish list, anything of that nature. Um, get your girl a coffee <clears throat> all that information is in the description box below okay so some numbers 11 so that's portal energy so some of you may be a life path number 11 you may be born on the 11th you may have an 11 year old okay let's see let's get a couple more so we have two one one equals a two so some of you may be seeing two 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 maybe a life path number two maybe born on the second you may have two kids and maybe have a two-year-old two-year-old may be significant to you and we have seven so same thing seven-year-old maybe have a life path number seven like myself um <clears throat> you may be born on the seventh maybe seeing seven 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 always i always recommend looking up these numbers um when you see them not looking them up i'm sorry um going within checking in with your own intuition because they can mean different they can be um have different messages for you at different times they're not always going to mean, uh, mean the same thing or at least telling you the same thing okay it depends on what you have going on what's going on around you what you're thinking what your energy is like in that moment <clears throat> it's all going to be different so let's get some signs you guys might be seeing at this time so aries maybe dealing with one you have aries highly aspected in your chart or maybe embodying the traits of an aries okay aquarius which we're doing um doing i'm recording that reading today as well so that'll be out tomorrow so we may be dealing with the Aries, we have Aries in your chart, maybe a body and the traits of an Aries and a Cancer. So any of those signs may be of significance to you guys at this time. Okay, so I'm gonna tap in and see what spirit is to you the most at this time. My videos are timeless, so when, you, when they come to you is when they are meant for you, okay? So I am recording this on the 28th of November though, so. those of you that um and given that scorpio you guys are the sign of death right the sign of death and rebirth some of you may be um guided to do shadow work mondays are a beautiful day to do shadow work um especially for those that are interested or know anything about um goddess lilith this is her day to honor her to work with her especially with the shadows so spirit for scorpios i need to know the most at this time it's just Step into your power. Trust the universe. Yeah, I feel like some of you are definitely going through a trying time um, during this time. I know my, myself, I can definitely resonate with that. Um, Spirit is asking you to trust, though. Trust this process. Trust yourself and know that whatever you're being put up against at this time, you can handle it. Okay. If it's coming to you, it's because you are fully capable. So Spirit is asking you guys first um, quarter moon and Aries to step into your power really embody and embrace um you know all that you are all that you're becoming all that you've experienced all that you've learned this is that time to really step into your power and step into the truth and authenticity of who you are embody that strength okay 
things. I'm still here, so I guess I feel like some of you are definitely being challenged. There may be also, also um, a new, new opportunity for some of you that you are um, just coming onto your awareness, understand your body. Um, there, I feel like, I, like I said, I feel like there's inspired others. There may be a new opportunity that's coming um, to you guys during this time that is going to really catapult you into the next phase of your journey. Um, for some of you, it's it's um, more so an energy of helping you really do something different, okay? And I feel like it could be like a new leadership role. It can be like a whole brand new job opportunity for some of you. You're opening a brand new business. Um, but it's, I feel like it's definitely a really auspicious time for you. Um, for you Scorpios. That's what I was looking for. I was like, what is, where is the deck that I'm looking for right now? I couldn't find it. It was covered by the others. It's so funny because like a while back, months ago, I put away like all my decks. Like I put them in a box to pack to get ready to move. And I like put them all away and then like slowly but surely they've been like different ones been creeping back out. <laughs> so anyway, it is what it is. All right, Spirit for Scorpios. That was fast. Book of Shadows. Didn't we just talk about that? Shadows, the secret. Okay. So yeah, some of you um, may have secrets like not and not it don't always have to be a bad thing okay feminine um goddess energy so i feel like some of you are definitely um you have things that you've been kind of like tucking away um things that maybe need to be revealed there may be some experiences that spirit i feel like is asking some of you to take a look at that maybe you've been holding secret um maybe experiences that you've had as a child or certain things that you've traumas or wounds that you've experienced that um I feel like maybe coming up at this time to have them looked at, like to have them looked at. Like it's kind of like, um, example is kind of like when you know you've had like a cyst or something, like a lump somewhere. And I'm not this. Don't get me wrong. This is not okay. Let me be clear. This is not me saying that anybody has a lump, but I'm this is just an example that came to me. Okay, that um, it's kind of like an example of like you having a lump and it's like you kind of like oh it'll go away, it'll go away. And you kind of put it off and kind of just like ignore it and cover it up, whatever. But I feel like now it's getting to a point where you can't ignore it anymore. So for some of you, I feel like that's kind of what this is where it's, but I feel like it's more so metaphorically speaking. Like, I don't think it's anything health related or physical, which however, if you know that that, you know, is a sign for you, that's some type of confirmation that you should get something looked at, then, you know, do your due diligence, right? Whatever you're guided to do with that. Um, but I feel like some of you, this is more so just talking about really, um, you know, putting on paper for some of you things that you've been holding inside for a long time, even if you don't share it with anybody ever, that's perfectly fine. But I feel like some of you um, may need to adopt, like adopt a journal that you use strictly for your secrets, that you use strictly for your um, like deep, dark, you know, hidden things for some of you that have like rituals that you practice or spells that you do or um, you know, recipes or whatever it is, um, this is a time to, I feel like will be really beneficial for you guys to write that stuff down, to put it on, you know, get it out and put pen to paper with that. Um, for others of you, if you already have one of those journals and maybe you haven't written in a long, written in it in a long time, um, because recently I've had to buy a whole new journal, like the little, little, um, like for a long time, for quite some time actually quite some time my shadow book journal looked like one of these it was one of these little little thingies right and that was just not it wasn't working anymore so your girl had to like totally upgrade okay to a whole like big <laughs> bigger notebook that has way bigger pages and I've been definitely doing shadow work so I've been you know the pages are Jesus I'm just dropping everything um yeah so anyway, I've been like having to like really do get involved, more involved in my own shadow work. So I feel like for some of you, um, this is where spirit is asking you guys to really take a look at those things, allow them to come up, allow them to be seen, be heard, be acknowledged, and essentially, you know, they heal by letting them go. Okay. Um, and so also about understanding your body, when your body needs to rest, giving it the rest and break that it needs. For some of you, you may be so used to just go, 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 where you don't know how to, you don't know how to relax, or you don't know how to, you don't know when to take a break. You don't know if that means I need to take a break or does that mean that I need to go harder? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's, that doesn't have to be a bad thing, but it's just to say that, you know, to know and understand when your body is talking to you and when to listen to it, right? That's that moderation because I've learned 
the hard way and even Scorpios I know that when they go too hard without listening to their body without acknowledging when it needs a rest or when it needs a break it will put you on your ass if you're not listening it will it'll do that for you like oh you don't want to or, or depend on you know like for some people who aren't mindful of asking for a break right they'll ask for a break and be like god i just want a fucking break and next thing you know they break a toe and they're out for like months so it's like you know be mindful of how you ask for your break but you know learning that when your body is asking you to rest or give it moderation or you know to relax or have a better balance and things to make sure you honor that okay so spirit what is scorpions i need more else at this time what is going on yeah some of you are definitely being guided to do shadow work at this time and that's not a bad thing okay um i feel like it's, it's just this energy of really allowing yourself to go within to spend some time with yourself for some of you that's where you'll find the power at it, you know in your shadows in doing the shadow work that for some of you is where you're going to find um you know the power that you have within the power maybe for some of you the inspiration you need to step into your power to step into your independence in some type of way you will find by doing the shadow work by going within and taking that time to just simply even if it's you don't consider it shadow work because it sounds like oh shadow work like it sounds like you know this it's given like this bad name this bad connotation but you know it's it's essentially the same thing as when you walk into a dark room and you turn the light on you know you're able to see what's there that you wouldn't have known had you not turned the light on right um so it's kind of like the same type of thing when you put when you turn on the light in a dark room it's no longer dark so when you allow yourself to reflect on these things and go within <clears throat> and spend that time that i feel like some of you need with yourself you never know what you discover in that space right and i feel like the universe essentially will reward you um for doing so okay for others of you this is about ooh, okay yeah i feel like some of you it's it's definitely about some type of um painful experience that i feel like spirit is asking you guys to really take a look at really look at and heal okay i'm, I'm really getting heart chakra energy here with this understand your body and then this three of swords it's like we have two threes out here okay so some of you may be seeing 33 you may be 33 years old some of you may be going through your saturn saturn uh, return okay but i feel like um when you do this shadow work i feel like you guys are going to feel a lot better meaning shadow work is simply like spending time with yourself and allowing yourself to take a look at and be present for the painful experiences that you've had okay the parts of yourself that you don't want to look at that you don't want to see the parts of yourself that maybe you have ridiculed or that you've always um, never enjoyed or never liked or appreciated but also others who haven't appreciated it about you either okay Because I feel like definitely you guys are maybe definitely experiencing some challenges at this time or you're being challenged in a certain kind of way. I feel like some of you maybe in this energy of um, maybe comparing yourself to other people and it's not necessary that you do that, right? I did that for a really long time. And I could say that it really, um, I feel like it really, it really... I, re I feel, really feel like I could probably be a lot further had I not did that. I'd be in a different place had that not been my experience but you know it is what it is so we have three two nines out here and three three threes okay so three 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 six nine just saying so that's like the ultimate number three we have three what is it three electrons six neurons it's something like that where it's like three six nine where that's like the whole energetic um vibration of the whole makeup to you know our our power right so um, some of you are not realizing that after you, by you allowing yourself to do some of this energetic work that I feel like spirit's asking you to do to really go into your shadows and, you know, unlock, uncover the secrets that may be hiding there. That's when you get everything you want. I feel like for some of you, it may end up resulting in some type of, um, coming back together with someone that you've been maybe kept away from. For others of you, this is more so talking about celebrating all the hard work you've done, like something you've been waiting for some of you to come to fruition you'll finally receive because you've you know shown the universe that i'm worthy i'm deserving that i've cleared the energy i made i've done the energetic work i've made that energetic space to allow in what i've been asking for okay some of you don't see it yet okay with this nine because underneath the deck and the two of um swords i feel like this is this is energy you don't see this is what you don't see coming okay but your patience here you're continuing to work and be patient 
and allow yourself to close out cycles that need to be closed. That's where you get what you want. Things that you've been waiting to celebrate, okay? <clears throat> but I definitely feel like this, it requires you to really step into your power. I feel like there are some things, Scorpio, that some of you do not want to take a look at because of how dark it is. I, I get it because that's, you know, your sign alone <laughs> represents darkness. It represents death, meaning that once you, you know, for some of you get to a certain um, point, there is no turning back, right? When you get to that death energy, you're like, that's it, right? That hangman, that's the awakening. And then the 13 that comes right after that is your card, the death card, right? That rebirth, that, that part, once you are awakened to what needs to change, what needs to happen, what's up ahead for some of you it's like i can't unsee what i saw so it's like you take a step back and you get in that hangman mode where you shift your perspective to see something differently and it's like once you see it and he unhangs himself and he's standing back upright it's like you can't no longer see unsee what you saw so it's like you have to i feel like some of you are in the, in this energy where it's like it's going to by it, you know allowing that process it's going to catapult you to the next you know the next phase of your journey which essentially is going to be a great phase because the universe, I feel like, is definitely, like I said, rewarding you with something that you guys, maybe it wasn't the right time for something and it's going to come back around. But for others of you, this is simply celebration. Celebration of you really being in your power for some of you, okay? The Nine of Pentacles, this is, you know, the independent energy. This is pre-Empress energy for some of you, okay? But this is that sense of independence, that sense of having, you know, having all the, the resources that you need to, you know, survive to live on your own to take care of yourself to be self-sufficient and independent for some of you that really matters at this time let's get some clarification <clears throat> message that's coming to you okay that you're gonna have to maybe take some time to really think about um for others of you this is you know once you allow yourself to go within and take this time that you need to yourself to really maybe reflect on <clears throat> how far you've come where you're trying to go what's next what's up ahead that's when you'll it'll respark that motivation that drive to actually take the next step and get things going okay So it's just a matter of you guys continuing to work. It's like you put in the work and you're about to be rewarded for it. Okay? This is also for those of you that have been, um, you know, maybe working with other people, working in tandem, working on a team, um, your hard work is about to pay off. Okay. This is like continue to, you know, do the work, continue to put in the effort, continue to do what it is you've been doing. I feel like some of you may not be seeing any progress. Okay. And, there, and that could just simply be because there's some things that still need to be looked at that still need to be worked through. But it doesn't mean that you're not like all the work you have done, though, means that that just goes like it, it doesn't count for anything. It really it still definitely counts. I've, I've been getting like an energy of some of you kind of like are feeling like low key, like you're going out of out of um, like out of order. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're kind of like having like a bunch of questions to answer and you're like answering them out of order type of thing where you're thinking like oh well because now i'm i'm stuck here does that mean i that none of that counts you know because you're being told now that you went about it like a complicated way or a different way no that's not what, that's not what's happening okay so it's not gonna be <clears throat> and for some of you what i'm also just got here is it's for some you see how that flipped out like that some of you someone's going to be hurt that you're not going to that you're not going to give them another chance for some of you this is you spending time with yourself and it's like kind of like realizing like i just want to focus on my work like i just need to focus on myself okay um and i feel like it's like leading to some type of um it's like hurting yours it's like i'm getting like energy of your success is hurting someone else like someone is either really not happy for you or you by you doing this work and working on yourself is putting you in your power and it's like making you leave something behind where you're not gonna like whatever chance maybe you thought you would give someone or maybe a connection that you've been in that you thought you know you'd work out and like oh maybe we can still make it work i feel like some of you are coming into this energy of realizing like i don't like i changed my mind i don't want it to work this doesn't it's like for some of you it's just too much drama i feel like for some of you it's just too much drama it's um too much conflict for some of you this person like you you may be competing with someone or someone has you in competition however that you know fits 
um, I just feel like someone's not someone's not given a second chance here. Okay, someone may be heartbroken that um, or really upset, really feeling the loss of this connection. Um, and I feel like it's just because it's just you, it, it's turned out to be it's more drama than what it's worth. And it's like I'm, I choose myself now. I feel like some of you are really maybe coming to that conclusion by going within and taking the time to really see how far you've come, how hard you work. And I feel like for some of you, it's putting yourself in your power. For some of you that understand your body, that's realizing like where I still need to do some healing as far as like, why why do I feel the need to keep people around that I can let go of that don't belong or that aren't, you know, that aren't healthy for my energy anymore. I feel like your body has been telling you and it's a matter of you deciding you know what? I'm gonna listen. That's what this has been saying this whole time. That's why when I this, you know, when I have these certain ailments or pains and my physical pings in my body, that's what they mean, right? So I'm gonna give you an example. So, for example, when you feel shoulder pain, depending on what side it's on, that is normally due to like energetically speaking, that's like a lack of support, or where you're you're being weighed down, you're taking on too much, like you're taking on someone else's too much of someone else's drama or trauma or responsibility you know what i'm saying where you're you're where you're not feeling as supported as you could be right you're taking on the weight of the world in a sense so i feel like some of you that's where your your um where spirit is talking about understand your body understand where maybe you're taking on too much understand where maybe you're not receiving enough or something isn't reciprocal okay i feel like the work you've been doing though is paying off but i feel like it could be making other areas in your life in a sense suffer okay so be mindful of that for some of you, it's definitely a marriage. It's definitely something that's long-term. But you, there you are, showing up in your own reading, okay? Some of you may be choosing to get a divorce. <clears throat> or this could still be just a long-term commitment. Something that you committed to as if it was a marriage. And it's like, it's time to end it. It's time for that to change. Like, it's not, yeah. Because once you change that, that's when your luck turns. That's when things turn in your favor. Because you took your power back. So we're clarified the um, five lines. What is that here? But I definitely feel like Scorpios, you guys are definitely um, in a space for change at this time. Okay. Let's start for Scorpios. I also feel like, too, where you guys, oh yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is definitely have to do with the commitment, do it to some type of connection. Okay. Um, this could definitely be drama in the workplace because you're, you're showing to be successful and other people maybe can't they can't handle it <laughs> okay um i feel like your success might be superseding or kind of like um surpassing other people <clears throat> and that could be the competition you know that you've been experiencing where it's like you're you're continuing to work is being rewarded you're continuing to work on a team even though they were you maybe had i feel like for some of you have people low-key competing with you low-key working against you it's like you're about to be sitting you're about to be sitting real fucking nice if you're not already you're about to be sitting real fucking nice for that competition it was just it was only um like training it was like preparing you for this moment here for the moment to have all the financial success and stability that i feel like some of you scorpios have been working really really hard for okay and I feel like that's exactly what is going to inspire others here. Okay. Six of Cups. So this could definitely be reconciliation, but with someone from like a past life connection. So this doesn't always have to be someone that you know already. But for some of you, it's like... You're not reconciling with someone from your present, and instead, you're for some of you are you're going back to someone from the past, someone that you've dealt with before, or it, like I said, it could be in a previous lifetime where that's coming back around again. Because I feel like for some of you, you're just realizing that your current connection is just too much drama, where it's like you're the provider and you're maybe giving so much and providing so much and paying all the bills and all that shit, and it's just like it's not worth it. Or I feel like some of you, it's like it may be breaking hearts, but you're like I'm over it. I'm over it. I can't do this anymore. Okay. But like I said, that's, you know, wish fulfillment is underneath that. Okay. So this is doing what makes you happy. For some of you, that's what you're being guided to do at this time, Scorpio, to really step into your power and do what the fuck makes you happy. And we have two nines here again. Okay. So nines represent endings. The 10 is the new start. The 10 is actually the new beginning. That's where the one comes from. We take away the zero, right? That's the one. That's the new beginning. So the nines really at being at the end, right? So we have three nines here, okay? 
then, <laughs> then, right, we have three, six, nine, okay? So just saying, three, six, nine here. So, you know, this is definitely, you guys are coming into, um, you know, an ending of something, an ending of a chapter, an ending of, you know, an old life for some of you. And I feel like you're, it's time, you know, some of you have been waiting for this moment to reconcile with someone, to come back together or come into union with someone. This could be someone that you know you have a past life soulmate connection to, but you maybe never had the opportunity to actually be with this person just because of maybe you guys are already in a committed connection. You're already, you had to maybe um, finish out a soul contract, okay? Like a soul contract with whoever this person is here that I feel like some of you are already, you know, um, in a long-term commitment to. I feel like that's that's something that someone's being heartbroken because you guys aren't maybe coming back together. Maybe you guys are on a break and because you've went, you know, did some type of, you know, shadow work, you guys have allowed yourself to like really go within and really connect to your higher self. You're realizing like, I don't even want this. Like I'm about to do what makes me happy, right? Because anything other than what makes me happy is, is a trap. It's just going to make me feel stuck. I'm just going to feel like I don't need to be here. But also realizing that that trapness is only in your mind, okay? So you have happiness after that, right? Something y'all been waiting for is coming, okay? But you again, you have to choose it. You have to choose it, right? So, Spirit, let's get some advice for Scorpios. Look, the bottom of this deck, your card. So, show up in your own reading. Oh, show, oh, show. Spirit, what's some advice for Scorpios, please, for this time? Whoa. Yep. So you guys have a new beginning coming, okay? Continue to learn whatever it is that you need to learn. Um, continue to work on yourself, right? For some of you, this has to do with the class or a course. Something is going to move. Things are about to, I feel like, start moving very, very quickly. If it's um, to do with work or job or money or whatever, things are about to take off, okay? Whatever you're being guided to take action on and, and whatever to get something done and complete it, do that. If this has to do with a karmic cycle, which is, I feel like, with this person here, whatever this, this heartbreak and whatever that you're not <clears throat> that isn't being given another another chance this is spirit saying like things are about to start moving quickly so go ahead and close that out okay step into your power close it out make it happen because you have two nines here success abundance stability okay your independence i feel like is being regained for some of you but it's requiring you to close this out and do it fast okay so let's get a wrap with a few of these and then i'll let y'all go Scorpio, what do they need to know? What do they need to know during this time, Spirit? What do Scorpios need to know, please? I feel like for some of you, whatever this is that you're leaving behind or that you're not coming back into union with, it's it's going to be something that is really, I feel like, more major than some of you understand and some of you may like realize it in the moment it like maybe it doesn't feel like it's as big of a deal but i feel like for some of you it really is so so we have awakening presence the universe is with you wear a cloak of protection and love absolutely that's omoria awakening presence and didn't we talk about that didn't we mention the hangman energy and, and coming out of that and yeah it's interesting <clears throat> okay Serapis bay ascension move into your true self rise above the darkness the light is here yep we talked about that with shadow work right when you turn out when you go into a dark room you turn on the light it's not dark anymore right spirit one more scorpio oh that was interesting so then we have melchie's deck higher learning you have learned from experience more inner study is now required to further progress absolutely so that's what we talked about here it's the learning card right so this is like i said learning something new maybe about yourself maybe taking a new class of course we just talked about that so this is like this doesn't always have to be like in a class but this could also be just in general like when we when i mentioned that early about the training that's what this is you know in reference to where some of you have gone through a whole lot like a fuck ton of stuff and that was training though it's like a it's like boot camp right boot camp for life to take you to the next level to prepare you for what it is you're asking for so just know scorpios that you guys or have gone through all the things you've experienced to take you to the next level to bring you to this success here that you know this all this success right <laughs> that's just waiting for you the rewards the recognition for you to be seen be heard be acknowledged be praised right 
in all of your glory because you deserve it so also really quick Scorpios while I was writing your title down um what also came to me while I was putting um 369 some of you this could also have to do with the 369 method for those who know about that method who have been using that method that is also I feel like was playing out here okay the fact that that came when I was writing that I'm like oh shit that's what some of you have been doing the 369 method for your true divine counterpart for your soulmate um, if this it could be someone from your past, just like a you know person, a past person in this lifetime, but for many of you, I don't feel like it's someone from this lifetime at all. And I feel like that's but that's what's coming to you. Some of you who have been using the 369 method, it is paying off at this time. Whoever you're coming in union with, that is who you've manifested through using that method. That's clearly not gonna be for everyone, but for those of you where that resonates, that's what this is. Okay. You deserve it. So Scorpios, that is what I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed this reading it was random <laughs> a little late way later than i normally um record these but i still hope you gain some clarity some insight confirmation encouragement whatever it is that you may um need it at this time for your situation i love y'all so much please like the video if you liked it sub to the channel